welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel so i haven't posted in quite a few years it's, it's probably been like five six years so oops <laughs> i always knew i'd start my youtube channel again and come back on here when the time was right and the time is right now so today i wanted to give you some tips that you can do to improve your mental health while you're waiting for therapy or in addition to having a therapist or just little daily things that you can do to assist your mental health. So I need to also say I'm not a professional, I'm not a psychologist or anything like that. I have a degree in psychology and I have lots of experience with mental health issues. Woo! So with that being said, let's jump into it. So the first tip that I can give you is called savers. This is or was introduced to me through TikTok. Um, it's meant to be like the perfect morning ritual, but if you don't have time to do it every morning, please do not stress, do not put that expectation on yourself because you don't need more stress and anxiety in the morning. Like, it's not needed. I started doing this in the mornings and then realized sometimes some bits wouldn't fit into my morning routine or it was too long for my morning routine. So, savers, what does it stand for? The first S is silence. This is all about meditation. What I like to do is listen to guided meditations on YouTube. I find them really easy because someone's kind of doing the work for you. All you have to do is listen and attempt to remain in the present moment. And I know so many are going to say, I meditation doesn't work for me. But if you try and you just keep going at it, eventually your mind does stay silent and you just follow the words that the person is saying in the guided meditation and if you find yourself thinking about other things you just don't get mad or upset at yourself you just say it is what it is and then you start listening to the person's voice again a is for affirmation choose a few affirmations that you like i have a few on my instagram at sai sarah in one of my highlights if you can't think of your own then feel free to steal one of those just go out to a mirror and say affirmations i know it's going to sound silly or feel silly at the beginning but once you get used to it i promise you it is it really changes how you see yourself and a lot of your negative self-talk that you might be doing to yourself. Next letter is V for visualization. So what I like to do here is go on Pinterest and I have a little Pinterest board for my future life or things that I want in my life. I think it's really fun. Yeah, just add little pins and stuff there. And it's nice to just see it all come together and it feels like when you see it in front of you, you're like, that's what I need more of. Here it is, that's what that looks like. Ugh. The next letter is E for exercise. Just move your body for 10 minutes in whatever way feels good for you. You can do more than 10 minutes if you feel like it. It's always good to get that, those endorphins, serotonin and all of that into your body when you move it and it's free. It's free, you can just do it. And the next letter is R, reading. And yeah, just choose a book that you really like. I prefer self-help books just because they make me feel good while I'm reading them. I have a few behind me. I guess I could recommend some to you. 5am Club is really good. You Are a Badass is also really good. And Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, this book changed my life. So those are my three book recommendations for you today. I, yeah, do 10 minutes of reading every day. Feels great. Do more if you want. <laughs> And then the last letter is S, scribing, also known as writing. So yeah, journal for 10 minutes every day. It really helps, whether that's gratitude journaling, saying things that you're grateful for, or writing down things that you are grateful for, because it really starts making you think about all the positive things in life. It can be super simple things like, I am grateful it was sunny today. And the next time it's sunny, you're like, I'm grateful for that sun. <laughs> and it just makes you happier and more positive. So yes. The next tip is that self-care days are important. So what this looks like for me is I take every Saturday off where I don't do any work, I don't post, I don't, I don't do things. I usually also take that day off of social media. And if you don't have a whole day to be able to do self-care, you can do half a day or even two to three hours just to go through the savers routine or do something that you completely enjoy and take away all the things that you really don't want to do or that make your life feel stressful, difficult, any of that. Just take two to three hours to just do whatever you wanna do. If that's watch Netflix and chill by yourself, do that. Just do something for you, completely and utterly for you. So the next tip is quite, 
um, common knowledge, I guess, common sense, but um, it wasn't for me. So if it isn't for you, then <laughs> you're in the same boat. Get a hobby. I know that sounds weird, but I did not have any hobbies. When someone asked me, what would you, what do you like to do? What, what are your hobbies? I would say, oh yeah, like scrolling through TikTok, being on Instagram, watching YouTube, watching Netflix, and as like fun as those things are, I feel like it is always good to have a hobby that gives you something back. Yes, you can find a lot of information and things like that from watching YouTube, Netflix, and all of those, they are great, but I'm talking about hobbies that really make you who you are. You know what I mean? Like, you know when people play golf and they're like, oh, I'm a golf dude. Yeah, like that. <laughs> yeah, I was just a person who didn't have hobbies and I want you to find something that gives you excitement, that when you do it, you kind of lose the outside world and you get focused on this one thing and it brings you joy. That's what I want for you. If you already have that, amazing, do it. <laughs> But if you don't, um, here are some of the things that I do that I realized I really like doing and I didn't know that I liked doing them until I kind of forced myself to start doing them more often because uh, depression makes you do nothing. But anyway, these are my hobbies. I love drawing, painting, reading, writing, thrifting. Oh my god, thrifting is so fun. It's like a little reward whenever you find something. Swimming, working out, and journaling. Yes. Next tip is routine. I know this is very, everyone says it, but start doing it <laughs> because it really helps and you would be surprised. I know, who thought that having a routine would help? So what that looks like for me is waking up every day at the same time and going to bed at the same time or around the same time because I am a human and not a robot and I sometimes just don't do the things. And then that's when I start my morning routine. And then usually I'll change it around sometimes depending on what I have to do and what I feel like doing. And I'll throw in all of my nighttime routine things as well when I go to bed. And here are some random short quick tips that will help you throughout the day. And you might not wanna do them every day, even if you do them some days throughout the week, they really boost your mood and like just help you mentally so much. So get outside every day, whether that's for 10 minutes or 20 minutes, at least 10 minutes every single day just to get the sun on your face and if there is no sun just to get outside and have some fresh air and feel good and connect with nature you know because nature is really healing i know everyone says that but like some days you just go outside and feel nature and you really feel it and you're like yeah you are healing queen girl boss i've said this a lot but moving your body free endorphins free all those chemicals that you need that make you feel better the next tip is cold showers i know i know it's not fun it's not good it's, it's it's not fun to do but recently okay like for the last week i have been so i take my normal shower and then end with 60 to 90 seconds of as cold water that i can physically take and it really makes you feel so much more refreshed there, there's so many benefits to having cold showers or finishing off with a cold shower that I didn't realize was a thing. And now I've started doing it and I really am reaping the benefits of cold showers. Who am I? If you told me I'd be doing this like two years ago, I would have been like, you're crazy. I am not doing that. <laughs> but yeah, try it, 60 to 90 seconds. It's, it's quite shit at the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, but then you get used to it and then it's fine and it's good. My next tip is to stay off apps that make you feel shit. So this for me looks like Facebook. <laughs> I compare myself to people on there because I see everyone's lives and they're getting married, having kids, buying houses, and I'm like, ah. Also, that means unfollowing people that you just, that make you feel bad on any apps, whether that be Instagram, TikTok, anyone that you find yourself comparing your life to theirs or your body to theirs, and it just makes you feel like shit and you just don't need that in your life. You can cut that off as easy as muting someone, unfollowing them, blocking them, or just staying off the app completely. That's okay. So a little story time. Um, so an app that I've been staying off of is Tinder. <laughs> so I realized I have really bad codependency issues and I'm really trying to work on that and, you know, just not constantly rely on someone else to be there for me and, you know, just finding myself and figuring out figuring out me and 
how I can best love myself first before seeing other people and yeah it's going good so if you want me to make a video on that let me know um if you're also struggling with codependency issues and healing from relationship trauma and things like that so you don't jump into new relationships when you're not ready and then it just gets worse also with that there's a lot of like instant gratification and dopamine release when you are on apps like tiktok and tinder and just like a lot of social media platforms but especially tiktok because you keep having that instant gratification of rolling and then it's quick videos and you're just laughing and it screws with your dopamine release and your brain receptors so yes that is also why i suggest taking off one day off of social media and do things that are like your hobbies and all the things that make you happy also reduce your phone time i used to use my phone for 12 hours every day i'm not proud of it i don't want to talk about it <laughs> i would just like depression scroll through everything and yeah it just it, it makes you feel like shit and makes you feel worse so try and cap your screen time and also i still scroll because I am human and yeah <laughs> but when you notice yourself scrolling just stop and be like it's okay put your phone away and start doing something outside of doing like being near your phone and then also i want you to do something for your inner child so that's anything that brings out like little you for me i noticed that was painting i didn't realize i like painting as much as i do until i started doing it one day and i was like oh this is very healing for my inner child so play around with a few things and don't be scared if it feels funny or weird you need to heal your inner child everyone does also i want to remind you if all else fails just go to bed have a bed day if you can sometimes our bodies need it sometimes our brains need it and that's completely okay i do not want you to be hard on yourself for that just accept it and call it a rest day mentally i hope you enjoyed all of my mental health tips and i hope they are of good use to you and if you're new here click the subscribe button below hit that bell notification to get notified every time i upload and hit that like button if you like this video or found it helpful and share it with a friend if you feel like they need it thank you for listening to me blabber and bye i love you